Okay, y'all, this is the um, Jolie and Dad cooking show. It's really just the Dad cooking show because I'm just going to drink coffee and watch him make some biscuit magic. We're going to make a biscuit. We're going to make some biscuits. Cat head biscuits. Cat head biscuits. And what exactly is a cat head biscuit? Well, cats have small heads, and when you pinch off of, off of the dough ball, it's kind of like pinching a cat head, you know, I and mean, then you get a little round ball. And it's... But who, who pinches a cat head? I don't know. I don't do it. I didn't make this up. This is what I've been told. So I you learned up. about cat head biscuits when you were like a little boy. I guess. Oh yeah, it was always cat head biscuits. There's cat head and there's the kind that you use a, a dough cutter. A dough cutter. Yeah, yeah. And and that makes a more tender biscuit. So why do you do cat head? They're easier, and I prefer. And that's good enough reason. And I prefer pinching them off and rolling them up. We're gonna make Gypsy Dad's famous. Cat head biscuits, and um, I'm gonna try to commentate this situation like it's a sports show um, while he cooks. All right. All right. All right. We've done a few things in advance that we don't normally do. Number one, uh, for some reason, it's not easy to get to the grocery store because we have to stay home now. And so we did have milk, but we didn't have buttermilk. So we made our buttermilk in advance by a cup of milk and a tablespoon of uh, vinegar. So we had to do that. A cup of milk, milk and a tablespoon of vinegar, and you let it sit a while, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And then ten you have like so. 10 minutes or so. And then you have your own homemade buttermilk because buttermilk is an essential. We're gonna, we're gonna sift our flour. We're gonna get about two cups of flour. Then you're gonna use about a tablespoon of uh, Bacon powder. I just prefer this Rumsford or any non-aluminum powder. Oh, we forgot to let my turn on the oven. Oh yeah, turn the oven on, Joe. What? Do you, yeah. Um. What? Four fifty? About four fifty. Ooh, too much salt. About yay much salt. Half a tablespoon maybe. You know, something like that. Jolie We're must be out of soda. I am out of soda. I ordered some and on the interwebs because that's the only way to get it right now. I would. So it should be here soon. I'd use about a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Don't you think that's about a half a teaspoon? That's good to me. All right. All right. All right. Then you we'll... gotta say I right, as you're doing it. I like to sift my flour, but it's not necessary. But that's what I do. So that's the way we're doing it. If I'm doing it, we'll do it that way. Butter. I'm going to use about a half a stick of butter. You can use more or less whatever blows your dress up. And then I like to cut it in with a pastry cutter. If you don't have a pastry cutter, it's okay. Just get a couple of butter knives or regular knives, I guess. You can. I, I never have mastered that. And just I just use my hands and just pinch it in. So not not necessary. Hopefully you've washed your hands before you do all this. For 20 seconds. And you just want to Try to get most of them mashed out of the way. Kind of get an even crumble going on in there. Right. All right. Then I like yes. to make a little well in there. Yeah, I know. Okay. And then let's let's go ahead and get some more butter in the. And you absolutely want to use a cast iron skillet. If you don't have one. Go get one. We're gonna put this in the oven and let it start melting the butter. And we're gonna pour this in that little well we made, our homemade buttermilk. And the dough is normally, to me, it's a little bit wet and it I don't always get these proportions exactly right, like I didn't this time, but we're gonna add a little more flour.
What's fixing the hat? Fixing it. Knead the dough. Oh, just knead the dough. We have a need to knead. Got the need, the need for knead. And then I put flour on one side of the bowl, and then I can use it because the dough's sticky. I feel like I need to. I feel like I need to get in on this, Dad. Here we go. Well, the dough is sticky, so I put extra flour in there, so because it, it'll stick to your fingers if you don't. And then I'm gonna knead it right here in the bowl. But we want a pretty soft dough, at least I do. Because I want moist biscuits, I don't want. And see, it, it'll absorb or take up this flour that we put in there. There we go. So now we got now we got our dough. Let's see if our uh, butter's melted. Then I just roll the butter that's in the skillet around to get it on the sides, keep it from sticking. This is the best part. Get a little flour on your hands and then pinch off whatever size biscuits you want. You know, about the size of a walnut or a calf fry. You know. then you flip it over in the butter in there. Yeah, yeah, put it in. So you get butter on top of it. I do it like that and then try to get the seamless on top. I usually cook about 18 minutes. Now I'll look at them and see if they're the brown I like. If they're not, I'll let them go a little longer. So 18 to maybe 20 minutes, depending on your oven and your, right. and your altitude. It does depend on altitude. Of course, we're flatlanders down here. We don't have that altitude problem. <laughs> All right, so 18 minutes have magically passed and it's time to get the biscuits out. And look who shows up. Yeah, and look who showed up just in time to dummy. eat the biscuits. I'm no dummy. I'm no dummy. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Everybody's here. All right. Here we go. Let's see if they're ready. Dude, they look perfect. What you think? I think I'm fixing to stop videoing the so I can eat. The proof is looking, oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> looking at the bottom, doesn't take me long to look at a hot pad. <laughs> There's the bottom. It's nice and crispy. All right, bye everybody. <laughs>